Tartarine, the endurance catalyst. Tartarine has an unusual story. It was developed in the 1990s as a treatment for metabolic and cardiovascular disorders, but it quickly caught the attention of athletes for its potential to enhance endurance and fat metabolism. Biochemically, Cartarine works as a PPAR delta modulator, which shifts the body's energy usage toward fat oxidation while sparing glycogen. For lifters, this means being able to push through longer training sessions, recover faster, and maintain a leaner physique during high-volume cycles. Users often describe a heightened sense of stamina and reduced fatigue, the kind that makes conditioning sessions feel almost effortless. However, safety concerns emerged during animal studies with potential cancer risks that halted human trials. While cartarine won't directly build muscle, its ability to improve work capacity and energy utilization makes it a useful addition to a performance or fat loss stack, but only for those who prioritize endurance and conditioning over pure hypertrophy. MK677, the growth hormone booster. MK677 is fascinating because, unlike most SARMs, it isn't a hormone receptor binder, but a growth hormone secretagogue. Developed in the late 1990s to treat growth hormone deficiencies, it mimics ghrelin, the hunger hormone, to stimulate GH and IGF-1 release naturally. This leads to improved sleep quality, accelerated recovery, stronger bones, and gradual increases in lean mass. Users often notice better sleep almost immediately, deeper recovery, and a stronger anabolic environment overnight. Typical side effects include increased appetite, mild water retention, tingling in extremities, and occasional lethargy, all linked to elevated growth hormone levels. One of MK67's most appealing qualities is its non-suppressive profile. It doesn't require post-cycle therapy, making it relatively beginner-friendly. For those looking to enhance recovery, bone health, and muscle mass simultaneously, MK677 offers a unique combination of benefits that few other compounds can match. Andarine, the cutting sculptor. Andarine was originally developed to treat muscle wasting and osteoporosis, but it found fame in the bodybuilding world for its ability to preserve lean muscle while aiding fat loss. It works selectively on androgen receptors in muscle and bone, giving mild anabolic effects with limited androgenic risk. This selectivity makes it a favorite for female athletes or those new to SARMs. Andarine is especially effective for recomposition cycles, maintaining muscle during caloric deficits while improving bone density. The downside? A peculiar side effect is a temporary yellow tint to vision, most noticeable in low-light conditions caused by its partial retinal receptor binding. Despite this, Andarine reliably promotes firmness, vascularity, and a leaner, harder physique during cutting phases. Stacked with cartarine, it can turn a dieting phase into a highly productive period for both muscle retention and endurance. Osterine, the muscle guardian. Osterine has a rich history, first researched in early 2000s clinical trials to combat muscle wasting in cancer patients and older adults. Its selective activity allows users to retain and even gain lean muscle with minimal androgenic side effects. By binding to androgen receptors in skeletal muscle and bone, it stimulates anabolic pathways that preserve muscle during calorie deficits and improve recovery. Users experience better strength maintenance, less fatigue, and noticeable improvements in body composition over several weeks. Side effects are generally mild, but can include testosterone suppression during longer or higher dose cycles, sometimes requiring a mild PCT. Osterine's versatility makes it a go-to for beginners or intermediates, acting as a protective muscle guardian during dieting, low-calorie phases, or recovery from injury. It's the kind of SARM that feels safe, but still delivers tangible results, a reliable foundation for any stack. Vegandrol, the strength amplifier, LGD4033, was developed by Ligon Pharmaceuticals as a potential treatment for muscle wasting, osteoporosis, and age-related muscle loss. It quickly gained attention in the fitness community for its ability to promote rapid lean mass gains at very low doses. In clinical trials, healthy men gained around 3 pounds of lean mass in just 3 weeks without significant adverse effects on liver enzymes, hematocrit, or heart function. LGD works by binding selectively to androgen receptors in skeletal muscle, increasing protein synthesis, nitrogen retention, and overall muscle fullness. 
Its potent anabolic activity comes with a caveat. Significant testosterone suppression can occur, so a proper PCT is recommended. Users also report improved recovery, better pumps, and increased strength, making LGD particularly effective for bulking cycles. Its half-life of 24 to 36 hours allows for stable dosing and consistent results, which is why many consider it one of the most reliable SARMs for rapid size and strength gains. RAD 140 The Testosterone Alternative RAD 140 is one of the newer SARMs, developed in the 2010s to mimic testosterone's anabolic effects without unwanted androgenic side effects. It has one of the highest anabolic to androgenic ratios among SARMs, meaning users get impressive strength and muscle growth without the usual risks to hair, prostate, or skin. Early research even explored RAD-140's neuroprotective potential, hinting at benefits beyond muscle. Users report significant increases in bench press, squat, and deadlift numbers in just a few weeks, along with denser, harder muscle gains. The main drawback is testosterone suppression, so post-cycle therapy is recommended for longer cycles. RAD-140 is a high-potency SARM that feels closer to a steroid in effect, while still maintaining a selective safety profile, making it one of the most exciting options for experienced lifters looking for rapid results. S23, the tactical SARM. S23 was initially developed as a male contraceptive due to its powerful androgen receptor binding. Its unexpected anabolic effects on skeletal muscle soon attracted bodybuilders. S23 is highly potent, promoting rapid gains in lean mass, improved strength, and enhanced fat loss. Users often describe a dry aesthetic, aggressive workouts, and significant changes in body composition over short cycles. Its potency comes with a downside, heavy testosterone suppression that demands careful post-cycle therapy. Its short half-life requires precise dosing schedules, and while highly effective, it's not beginner-friendly. For advanced users, S23 represents one of the most intense SARM experiences available, a tactical compound for serious strength and physique transformation. K11, the Myostatin Crusher. YK11 is arguably the most extreme compound in the SARMs category, though technically it acts as both a SARM and a myostatin inhibitor. By binding to androgen receptors and increasing folostatin, it suppresses myostatin, the body's natural break on muscle growth. This dual action creates unparalleled hypertrophy potential, allowing rapid gains in size, strength, and density that surpass most traditional SARMs. Users report explosive workouts, noticeable fullness in weeks, and accelerated recovery. However, YK11 is high risk. Potential side effects include joint discomfort, liver strain, and heightened aggression. Its aggressive profile makes it strictly for advanced users, but for those willing to manage the risks, it's the king of SARMs, the ultimate tool for pushing the limits of natural muscle growth.